Hey, in this Unreal Engine 4 tutorial, we're going to cover setting up a base character blueprint that we can use as a parent to all our Paragon characters. Over time, I'm going to be adding more and more Paragon tutorials covering various things for each character. And you can find documentation for this tutorial and more on my website or on the description below. And we can just jump straight to it. So we're going to kick off this Paragon training series by creating a base character class that we can inherit from. And we're going to do this because every time that we set up a new Paragon character, we don't want to have to keep setting up the same input movement controls or any common functions that we're using in our classes. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we've got some input mapping set up. We're going to come up to edit and then project settings, and then we can come down to the input tab. Now you can pause the video here and copy my settings, or you can head over to my website and find the documentation for this tutorial. And this should be listed just there. Okay. So once you've got your input mapping set up, we can close this. We can come to the content folder here. We can right click on it and add in a new folder. I'm just going to call my folder blueprints. And just for a quick tip, you can right click on folders and you can set the color for them. Inside this folder, I'm just going to right click and add in a new blueprint class. I'm going to add in a character class and just call this Paragon Base Character BP. So this is our base character class. Double click on this to open it up. Now I'm going to start by selecting the mesh slot. I'm going to drop down the mesh slot here and choose Shinbi. Just so we can have something to look at here. Now with Shinbi loaded in, we can drag her down negative 90 and I'm going to rotate her negative 90 as well, just so she's facing the right way for the class, which is the, you see the arrow there. Okay, so we want to add in a camera to this, but we want to make sure that the camera is attached to a spring arm. So let's add in a new component, add in a spring arm, and then with the spring arm selected, we can just move it up and then rotate it again to the right direction. Now let's add in a camera. So we want to make sure that the camera attaches onto the end of the spring arm. So we're going to select the spring arm and then just add in the camera and that'll attach it on the end of the spring arm. If you want to adjust the camera's position, you don't want to actually select the camera and move it. Instead, you want to select the spring arm and just adjust the target arm length here for the camera. Okay, so when we move the mouse, we want to make sure that the spring arm is rotating around the character with this style of char character. So we're going to just select the spring arm and just check use pawn control rotation. So that will rotate the spring arm around the character. But as the way it is, the character is also going to rotate at the same time. So we want to select class defaults and uncheck use controller rotation your. Okay, so the character will no longer rotate. Instead, it'll just be the camera. But we want to make sure that the character rotates and moves towards the direction that the camera is facing in. And to help us with that, we want to select the character movement component and just type in the filter rotation. And we can check orient rotation to movement. Okay, and that's all the settings we need. So orient, rotation to movement, on the class defaults, uncheck use controller rotation your, and then on the spring arm, we want to make sure that we check use pawn control rotation. Okay, now we can move on to the event graph and set up the basic movement controls. So what we're going to do is just right click and grab the move forward and the move right input access events. And we can just right click and grab the add movement input function. Okay, we're going to connect the execution pin here and also the access value to the scale value here. We can select the add movement input and hit control W to instantly duplicate it. I'm going to do the same here. So execution pins and the float values together here. Now all that's left is the world direction. All we need to do is right click and type in get control rotation. And we're going to just filter out the pitch and roll. So we're going to right click on this, split it. We don't need the roll or the pitch. We just want to deal with the yaw. And we're going to drag this out and just actually we're just going to right click and just type in make rotator and just connect the yaw directly to this. Okay, now with this rotator return, we can just drag it out, and just type in get forward vector. And that's the world direction for moving forwards. And then we can get the right vector for moving right. Okay, that's the movement input. So we can just select all of that, hit C to add a comment section and just name it movement input. Okay, with comment sections, you can also change the color if you want to. 
and you can also adjust the font size. Okay, now we just need to do the mouse input. So that's pretty simple. All we need to do is grab the look up axis event and also the turn axis event. Okay, and now we just need to grab the add controller pitch input for looking up and then for looking right or just rotating on the yaw, we're just going to grab add controller your input. And we can just select all of these and then hit C and then this can be the mouse input comment section. Okay, that's it. We can just hit compile and save. And one last thing we want to do is set up a game mode. So we can right click here, go to blueprint class and select the game mode base. And we're just going to call this Paragon game mode underscore BP. And the reason we're doing this is so we can assign this game mode and also assign the starting character that we spawn as. So we can double click on the game mode here, drop down default pawn class and just assign the Paragon base character there. We can hit compile, hit save, close this. And we can come up to settings and then come to world settings and then assign the game mode at the game mode override here to get Paragon game mode BP. And if you want to assign this game mode by default for every map, you can come up to edit project settings and then come, come to maps and modes and then drop down default game mode and assign Paragon game mode BP. Okay, now when we hit play, we should spawn in as our character. We can use the mouse to turn around the character. And then when we hold down W, we will move in the direction that the camera is currently facing in. One final thing I want to do is adjust the movement speed of the character. So to do this, we can just jump out, come back into the base character class. We'll select the character movement component. And on the details panel, we should find max walk speed. And I'm going to change mine to 4 to 5. And that's it. So we can now move on to taking one of the characters and setting up some animations for some basic locomotion.